Hello, Aries. Welcome to Cheek You Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your love reading for April 11th through the 17th. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, life is good to you. You are good to it. It is Aries season. So happy birthday to all of you Aries out there. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. I hope your birthday is all that you want it to be. All right. Let's get into it. This is for Aries and love and romance for April 11th through the 17th this is for the sign of aries all right let's get into it. how does aries feel one more shuffle how does aries feel when it comes to love and romance how does aries feel all right your underlying energy ace of wands new beginnings this is this could be a new job like a career um a new business something you're very passionate about something that you desire and means a lot to you okay new beginnings ace of wands so that is your underlying energy we'll see why that is so all right how does aries feel in love romance mm, mm. okay five of pentacles seven of swords the sun now there's some feeling mm, mm, mm. I'm glad the sun is there because this was a little, when I first saw them, I said, oh, someone is feeling either left out or alone, feeling rejected. But there is some secrecy here. Something not being revealed is being hidden. Um, could be lying, cheating, something of that nature. Or it could just be someone wearing a mask. Like they're, just, they're not wanting to show how they feel, not wanting to show their hand. We'll, we'll clarify to make sure that's what that is to see. All right. Five pentacles. Nothing, nothing positive about this card. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. The high priestess. More secrecy. <clears throat> um the, the the high priestess could mean you there's something here you don't know you don't understand okay um you haven't learned it it's a mystery why the high priestess this is how you feel nine of pentacles <clears throat> i mean some of you could be having just money issues okay and maybe you don't know how to be on your own or get your independence back, have, you know, gain some financial security or any type of security where you're independent. Maybe it's like, I don't really know how to do that. Um, Cause the high priestess is about knowledge and um, learning and gaining wisdom. Okay. But with the five of pentacles, this could be um, a difficult time right now. All right. Where, you, you may be in despair. You may be having money issues. That's, this card can represent that. Um, yeah. Some of you may not feel very healthy. And you're trying to just get into a good place. Whether it's money, health, love, emotional, spiritual. I feel like maybe you're not sure how to get there. Clarify the seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. Wow. All right, hold on. Let me ask again. Let me shuffle these. All right, clarify the seven of swords, please. Oh my God. Ooh, six of cups. Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is like getting out. This is like something from the past, a past person, a past situation. Um, this could be want you strategizing on how to escape it, how to get away from it. What is the energy of the Seven of Swords? What is the energy of the Seven of Swords? What is the energy of the seven of swords, please? Can I get one card, please? Or two? That's fine. Mm. 
Um, okay, sorry. I had to step away for like a quick second. Um, so where did I leave off? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands. Um, maybe someone offered you something but maybe that wasn't the best like the wisest attempt i'm getting some energy of wisdom not using wisdom or a need to use wisdom and it could have been like a person from your past why the nine of swords reverse looking forward to so there's this something being planned here seven of swords the three of wands looking forward to something let me pull one more on that why the three of wands so i mean are you looking forward are you ex have some expectations of being disappointed or unfulfilled why the three of wands? Page of wands. <sighs> Do you feel like you're going to have to like sneak, like not sneak around, but inquire, right? You're going to have to go on a, a, a exploration with this person that you're involved with to find out what, what, what they're doing. I feel like someone made you an offer, but this may not have been like, uh, I don't know, like with the Seven of Swords, it just feels like it's not a wise attempt, right? Because there's some shadiness in this. Okay, I think this is how you feel is what I'm saying. I don't, I feel like this is how you feel about it. Let's see, clarify the sun. All right, so there are some messages here of love, um, having a heart to heart. Why the Page of Cups? Okay, victory. This feels very positive. All right, so there's some progression here. It's like you go from feeling, having, you know, going a time of trouble, feeling down, feeling despair whether that's in your finances, your emotions, your career, etc. And then you kind of go through um where you're not as stressed out. You are looking forward to something, but maybe you have some expectations. I, I feel like someone made you an offer. Okay? But it's like this offer doesn't seem right, right? Or you're like, I don't know, Either you shouldn't be doing this or they shouldn't be doing that. Why the King of Wands? The judgment in the reverse. Maybe you don't. That's what I'm saying with the judgment reverse. It's like either you're not making a judgment, like a decision. You're not giving, giving it a second chance. You're disappointed by it, right? You're unsure about it. It's something like that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is the energy of the sun? The tower. But there's some successful conversations here. Maybe even being enlightened. And, and, and it could have been... You learn something like out of the blue, like you weren't expecting it. Why the page of wands? Maybe you, maybe you knew you guys would have a conversation. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. Sorry, sometimes I get a little confused. The reading sometimes doesn't make sense to me. But if you resonate with it, it, you, it makes complete sense to you. I can be over here lost because I don't know your story, right? But it's almost like you knew... You would have this conversation like you were looking forward to it, right? Reuniting, coming together. 
it looks like you did have a very nice conversation. Maybe something surprised you. Um, even the seven of swords, like, ah, uh, I'm not sure what I'm getting from it. It's not a betrayal. It's not you trying to escape it. I mean, it could be that. It could be you trying to escape this proposal or making a decision about the proposal. You know what I'm saying? And it could be because you didn't have all the information you wanted. Maybe you needed to have a conversation first. Yeah. All right. I think that's what's happening. You guys correct me in the comments. Let me know if that makes sense. Um, okay. So let's see what can you expect to happen next. All right. Because it looks like you guys had a conversation and maybe you feel like it was a success. Like it, you got the information that you wanted. Because here it's like you knew you would. You guys would get together and have a conversation. You would ask questions. It's like you were looking forward to getting some answers to your inquiries. All right. So what can, <clears throat> excuse me, what can Aries expect to happen next in love and romance? Sorry if I took too long to figure that out, you know? But hey, as long as the message comes out, that's all that matters. Uh-oh. All right, Aries, what can Aries expect to happen next in love and romance with this situation specifically? What can Aries expect to happen next? All right, can we get a card? What can Aries expect to happen next? Please? Here we go. New beginnings, new beginnings in love. Because it looked like you connected with this person and... Um, things went pretty successful, okay? Ace of Pentacles, that is a solid new beginning. It's very rewarding. It's very prosperous. It's filled with happiness and pleasure, okay? All right. Why the Ace of Pentacles? There's a page of wands again. Um, I feel like you're, you're doing a lot of talking, a lot of communicating with this person. Um, like you're seeking information. But it's lighthearted, you know? Like the, the page of wands is a free spirit. It's not like the page of swords, right? He could be harsh sometimes with his information. Sometimes his, his intent, no, like the angle he's coming from is anger but this is not the case with the page of wands why the page of wands yeah see a lot did i say a lot of communication a lot of talking you guys will <clears throat> really get the a uh, clear the air exchange your ideas your thoughts your feelings this is a good thing why the eight of wands Okay, the hanging man in the reverse. Okay, but there may be a little bit of resistance. Maybe someone will feel like they're not willing to look at something differently. Um, there could be someone who feels like something is not worth the sacrifice. Uh, yeah, what, what's the energy of this Ace of Pentacles? The Eight of Swords. So there's going to be some indecision here. And I think it's because of this. Well, this could be like bumping heads a little bit here. What is the energy of the hanging man reverse? Oh, okay. Let me do this. The justice. The world. Okay. <sighs> Doing the right thing. Equality. Honoring the other person. Doing what's best, what's right, what's fair. Oh, God. With the world card there. I'm just hoping this is not like an ending. Why the world? 
okay, no, this may be a good thing. Things may come full circle here. And you guys may release, you know, the issues, okay? You may come to some, like you'll recover from what has already transpired. Why the Eight of Swords, though? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, there could be something here about independence. Maybe you're not sure of, maybe your person isn't. Maybe they're stuck or... Mm, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that, like it's a money thing because I felt that in the first spread. There's something here to do with money or health, okay? What is the energy of the Page of Wands? King of Wands, the Chariot, the Ace of Swords. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Are you are you guys not going to make it? Like uh, maybe you're not sure if you want to give up your independence. I feel like you came across some truth because I see a lot of communication and you may decide like it's not worth it. You know, I mean, the hangman is here in reverse and you may feel like it's the right thing to do. I think that's why the, the world is there is because you may decide yeah, no, I'm going to release this or this could be like a divorce. I thought this would be letting go of the issue, but I feel like that might be like by separating, not by working it out. What is the energy of the eight of wands? So a conversation, truthful conversation, many truthful conversations could lead to the decision of just parting ways, okay? What is the energy of the Eight of Wands? Yeah, here's the Four of Wands talking about that. But the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Um, Yeah, I just, I don't think things are going to go as planned here. The idea was to probably get back together to see if we could work it out. And... Maybe you had like some very successful conversations. Just because you don't end up together doesn't mean that the conversations weren't successful. It just means we walked away fully understanding where the other person is, where where they stood. Okay, it's like there's clarity. There's no confusion. Those are su successful conversations, communications. And I feel like that's what you guys had. And unfortunately... Um, Aries, I feel like you may just feel like, yeah, it's just not worth it, you know? And I don't think there's something here you're not willing to change. You're resistant to maybe an idea or a th something your partner said. I don't know. All right, let's get your advice, love. Whoo, what advice do you have for Aries? What advice do you have for Aries? Justice. All right. So the justice card is all about doing the right thing. Okay. Um, this is Libra energy. So I like when the advice is something I feel like you already did or you're doing. Okay, it's just more confirmation that you're on the right path. And based on having seen all that communication, I feel like, yeah, because this is like considering all sides. When you when you go to court, you listen to both sides. You don't listen to just one side, right? The jury needs both sides. The judge needs both sides. I mean, heck, even the lawyers need both sides, right? And I feel like this is saying, listen to both sides, Consider your side, consider their side, and then make a decision. You know, weigh out everyone's part. Okay. Listen. Yeah. All right. That's, that's. Let's clarify this further, but yeah, weigh, weigh the pros and cons. And when you feel like you've reached a conclusion, then make your decision. Seems easy enough, right? All right. 
give us more. Clarify the justice here. Clarify the justice. The five of swords. Um, I think this is for victory's sake. For the for the sake of winning or losing, um, you have to weigh all sides, and that's why I said the the conversations are successful. They are victorious because I think you will walk away with all the information that you need. Okay, why the five of swords? Okay, the knight of swords is to be brave to. Um, like really press forward with this. All right. Don't leave any stones unturned. Why the Knight of Swords? The Two of Wands. You have a decision to make. Okay. You do. You're at this crossroads right now. Past, present, or future. There's a crossroads that you will come across. Okay. What is the energy of the justice? What is the energy of the justice card? Oh, the four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is a, the four of cups in the reverse is um, having new goals, feeling ambitious. Okay. And um, I feel like spirit is really supporting you on pursuing this, you know, getting the information that you need to really see if this could work or not work. Um, I think in the long run, you'll be happy that you went head first with trying to gather this information all the pros the cons whatever is whatever you need to make a decision um yeah do that and you know <laughs> go go hard with it all right aries i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was helpful you guys wishing you the best in love don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i will talk to you guys next time Mwah. deuces